Hey everyone, uh, we're looking at the Grimspeed port and polishing services today, uh, focusing particularly on the turbocharger. Later on we're going to have another video on the intake manifold. So, we saw in another video, or an earlier video, um, that we did the exhaust manifold. And today I happen to have the exhaust manifold out of my um, Genesis Coupe that I took out today. So, you guys could see exactly what kind of differences that I was talking about in the last video and uh, it also helps explain some of the benefits to the turbocharger if you have the exhaust manifold there. So start things off uh, what we have here is a Grimspeed um, turbo gasket okay now this is manifold to turbo and you, as you can see it's a little miffed up and that's because my mechanic was an idiot when he installed it and didn't do it correctly but when um, Grimspeed talks about this center firing ring and how important it is and you can see that the only reason that this gasket d b despite actually being installed wrong it didn't leak exhaust and that's because it had this steel fire ring and this crack right here goes all the way through and this fire ring stayed intact and was able to hold my my exhaust gases in so Big plus to uh, to Grimspeed, and it also uh, warped a little bit because I was running a bit too lean, um, and it and it still didn't leak. So, good job, Grimspeed. Uh, so, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the exhaust manifolds again, and only because I happen to have them here, and they lead into the turbo, literally and figuratively. Um, first off, you'll see. That there's this white donut here. Okay, now this donut is actually raised. And what it's for is it is for idiot proofing the installation of the turbocharger. And uh, how that works is here's the factory turbocharger, unmodified. Now this isn't touched by Grimspeed yet. Um, you'll see that there's this lip here, okay, and that lip reduces the the flow um, from 2.5, which is this surface here, to 2.34 inches. So that's a little bit of a of a reduction that you you don't need, especially considering as soon as it gets to the O2 pipe, it enlarges. But what we're talking about in regards to this is this flange. And you'll see here that it's perfectly shaped. And what it's for is basically making it so these two surfaces, when you bolt them together, sorry, hands in the way, they sit as close as possible. And that's not really needed. We've been turbocharging vehicles without that wasteful uh, chunk of metal for quite a while. It, this, ring here. Now here's your gasket. That's how much it's supposed to flow. If I slide the gasket, it's, like I said, it's warped. You see, that's how much flow we're, we're missing. right? I mean, that's, that's quite a bit of flow. So, what Grimspeed does is they take that out. They completely get rid of it. They did it on the, they got rid of this hoopty flange on this and made this larger, okay? And they got rid of the stupid flange on here and made it larger. So we can put this one away for now. And uh, you'll, so now you know why this is so beneficial is because it actually allows more exhaust gases to go through, less restriction, okay? So here, Here is a, the PNP um, turbine housing. Okay, so you got no hoopty gasket. Perfect gasket match. Well, if I could hold it on there, center. So no restriction. No restriction means, or reduced restriction, I guess, means more exhaust floor flow. More exhaust flow means faster spooling of the turbo. Okay. 
And that's all they had to do was get rid of that stupid little flange. Um, now it's a lot more skill involved to make it happen because obviously, I mean, they've done it perfectly smooth, right? Um, but they, that's that's what they're talking about. How they're going to give you three to five hundred RPM faster spool up, and faster spool up is good news for everybody in my opinion, especially turbos. So I'm going to take these nuts off, which I should probably get in the habit, yeah. Heard me say that a million times, I guess. Um, and we're going to talk about the other thing. Uh, we're done with these. Oh, I guess not really. Oops. Because I didn't have one of these available. So this is your stock flimsy gasket. Now, this has only been on for 30,000 kilometers and it's already pulled apart. And it's just a bunch of metal pieces that have been literally stamped together. And you hold it up against... Cut it on backwards. Hold it up against here. Maybe you guys won't notice, but... There's a lip right there. And it's really hard to see. But you can see that lip when the gas gets away. You can see that dark ring there. Well, this one has been completely gasket matched. There's no lip. It's perfect transition. Now, if you get your your uh, stuff done with Grimspeed, make sure to pick up a Grimspeed exhaust manifold gasket because the factory one is really wonky and crappy. Um, and their, theirs is much better. So that's covering a little bit of the exhaust manifolds again. And now we're going to talk about the turbos. So we've covered this flange here and why that's bad. But the number one complaint actually from tuners is that this hole here isn't large enough, so you can't actually flow enough exhaust gases through it. Um, what Grimspeed does is they get rid of this useless flange, which is not actually which is uh, not actually required. Um, your stock uh, downpipe or O2 pipe, the factory catalytic converter, that's got a little flange, mating flange in here as well. But you don't need them. Simply using a gasket is fine enough. Now. On the factory one, now this is a 2.5 inch gasket. Okay, this is a Hyundai 2.5 inch gasket. See that flange clearly visible? It's not it's not very flow friendly. Now same gasket on a Grim Speed port and polish turbo. No flange. Perfect through. Now if I had any complaints about what they do with the turbine housing, it's that they don't actually that they don't make it three inches, which there's more than enough material here to safely make it three inches. Perhaps they have a reason on why they don't. Um, and I really hope that uh, one of the guys fills me in. But if they made this to a full three inches, which is only a quarter inch more out, okay, um, they'd completely remove any chance of a restriction from this. And you would basically be flowing the, the TDO4 as much as possible. So, that, in a nutshell, is uh, what they do with the turbine housing. Now, the other thing is, is um, if you, for whatever reason, do not opt for the uh, Grimspeed gasket, um, this is the new Hyundai-style gasket, because I just recently installed it with my uh, downpipe, um, or O2 pipe. The new Hyundai gasket is actually not bad at all. It never leaked. It's rather thick. Not as thick as the Grimspeed one, but it is rather thick. It's not a wafer thin. Um, and it's got its own firing ring cast in, or folded into it. Um, it's very durable, very nice, and definitely not reusable. So um, I should probably add a couple of quick notes to, the, to this video. 
and uh, and that's um, don't ex if you get the, the the port and polish done don't expect higher boost uh, that's not the purpose of this at all will it allow you to sustain boost longer or higher boost longer uh, yeah you're flowing more um, however there is only so much that you can do to the housings before you're limited by the, the, the trim, the compressor wheel, and the turbine. So if you're investing in this for the sake of reaching 18 PSI at a 7,000 RPM redline, you've really, you're looking at the wrong turbo to begin with because the TDO4 was just never designed to do that. So uh, continuing on. All right, so now we're going to talk about what they do with the compressor housing. Uh, from what they do with this opening is not actually all that much. I'm not even completely sure that they touch it. Well, there's a little bit of a lip here, so I guess they do. There's a lip down here that's very noticeable with your finger, but if you go to mine that's been polished by Grimspeed, it's a very smooth track in. So obviously they smooth this out quite a bit. Um, which is better for for flow. But the main thing of what you're going to be doing or why you'd be getting the compressor housing done is see how big this lip is. See how it's not on that? What they do is they actually knife edge and the only lip you see here is actually where the um, hose the hose barb is. Um, they leave that intact but the rest of it, they completely laminar flow or flow it in. I shouldn't use laminar, but they completely flow it in, and it makes for a lot smoother and a little bit bigger flow. So you're actually able to move more air through it because the pipe gets bigger quicker. Um, this side here, however, is not so much. It's very thick. They, it's not smooth on the inside at all. Um, now, uh, somebody might say something, yes, my turbo is powder coated, it is not, um, I did not opt for the thermal coating because uh, after some discussion with Matt, we both kind of figured that for the purposes of this build, it's not going to benefit me because I'm just going to be changing the turbo anyways and I already know that. Um, for this uh, however, in the video, the, like on my little screen, it shows up as blue, and I don't know what it's going to show up on is, on YouTube, but for this, it, it's actually purple. Uh, there's some pictures on the build thread, so check them out. Uh, overall, the Grimspeed Port and Polish, I do not feel is a waste of money. If you are keeping the stock, tur stock turbo for any length of time, it is a very good thing to do, increases efficiency, and increases... Um, turbo response and turbo feedback so in my mind definitely worth the investment and as you guys can see I gotta move all the pipes over still but uh, this is the new turbo very nice right yeah looks good everybody likes promy stuff so thank you guys for watching thank you everybody at Grimspeed who was very awesome in helping helping out with this. Uh, I want to thank Joel, the fellow who did the porting on the turbo, and Matt and Brandon and the rest of the crew over at Grimspeed who made uh, getting this very easy, shipping up to Canada um, and consolidating some of my different parts. I really appreciate that because it saves me money on shipping and they're getting better and better at dealing with us Canadians. Um, and I want to thank the fellow who sold me the turbo, so I was able to reduce my downtime. Turned out to be not that big of a deal, but I really appreciate it anyways. And now I've got a, st a spare turbo. Uh, this one's in perfectly good working order. So um, Thank you again, everybody who uh, tuned in, watched this, and definitely stay tuned because we got a lot more coming. And dev videos. Yeah, dev videos. The engine is starting to get pulled out of the car so watch the pay attention to my channel there's going to be a dev video every week 
uh, or at least every week uh, on something. And we'll be starting to get the ball rolling on that. All right. Have a good day, guys.